Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Reconnection, located in Chicago. How are you? Right now I want to talk to you about your menstrual cycle and mental health. And let me just say health is wealth. That sounds kind of hokey. Well, it shouldn't because really if you are healthy, you can do a hell of a lot of things that can make you feel wealthy and actually bring wealth to you. And sometimes the wealth is actually saving money rather than spending money in the wrong direction. So what I want to talk to you is about the mental health side of a women's menstrual cycle. Now, as we're seeing, we are in the month of mental health awareness. And more and more increasingly, people are being made aware of mental health. And we tend to think of mental health as just the mind, the way we think, the way we reason, our logic. And mind you, some of that can be completely illogical. But what else is mental health? Well, there are parts of your mind that actually are connected to systems in your body. And the reproductive system is one of them. And this can be in mentalities, you know, what we think of as a pattern or a program. So think of it this way. I'm going to use myself as an example, okay? Race Catholic, there you've got religion. You've got a certain religious mentality. You have advice and you have um, admonitions. You want to marry within that same tribe. You want to sometimes marry within your same nationality and have similar babies with people who are similar, right? So this is a mentality. And not everyone's going to break out of that pattern. It's there. It's in there. But it's also tied into the reproductive system, which means the menstrual cycle. And it means the baby wish, where people wish for a baby or they get pressured by other people, hey, have a baby. And I've seen this happen. Someone will no sooner have a baby and someone will say, well, when are you going to have the next baby? Why is it that people have to deal in drama? And they're so interested in other people's lives and like, when are they going to do the next thing that will liven up their life instead of paying attention to their own life, right? Why is having baby after baby healthy? It is actually not that healthy for a woman's body. A woman's body needs full upgrading again before having the next one. And yet, if you're Irish like me, there are tons of stories of huge Irish families and Irish twins where the kids are born 11 months apart and, you know, on and on and on. And it's not just Irish people. I'm saying this because I'm relating to some of my own upbringing. Mental health also includes how you feel, your mood, your emotions. So this is this can be mental, emotional issues with people. It could be the in-laws. It could be the parents. It could be your own children. And again, tied to your menstrual cycles, your menses, your cycle, your reproductive area, the areas where you're quite literally attached to your people that you're created from and that you're a part of. But you can also feel like you're not yourself when you have it or when you're having a hormonal cycle. Now, not a lot is known about hormonal cycles because as you go through ascension, your hormones will not make medical sense, but they do make sense if you look at it in the scope of this is ascension and you're going to detach this first so you can detach this and then you could detach this really big deep thing, right? So it makes logic if you look at it a certain way. But if you look at it sometimes from a scientific or, well, I should say maybe more like a medical point of view, it may not seem to make sense. Why would it make sense that you have a migraine headache when your menstrual cycle's down in the private part area, right? Why? Well, I know the reason. So headaches, feeling like withdrawing from people, feeling moody, okay? There's other things, so we're not done yet. Not eating right, cravings. Why is chocolate such 
a big thing for women and why do women crave it when they're going to start their cycle? It can start up two or three days before. God, you got to have chocolate like it's going out of style. Chocolate, 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 all kinds of chocolate. I know some of you, you're going to rationalize it by saying, well, I don't eat the sugary chocolate. I eat the 72% cacao, 98% cacao. I don't care. It's still a craving. You can rationalize it all you want. Why? What is the core reason? That's what we're here to get at. Why would it be a thing? And how can it normalize and balance? Okay. You can feel cranky. You can feel hysterical. You can feel flat, low energy, depleted, vaguely depressed, and you'll swear that there's people around you that are energetic vampires. And that's not always the case. You could wind up losing your job. You could wind up losing friends because of tiffs, because you were in a mood. You could wind up having an argument with your spouse or your kids. Or how about some of those families where there's four female children in the family all on the same wavelength, okay? Did you ever hear of the tribal hut? Yes, there is a reason that women many, many centuries ago and still do, go into the hut all at the same time so that they could all be on the same cycle and all cycling at the same time. That was an alignment with seasons. You're leaving those kind of earthly alignments. It will not have the same bearing on you. And there are other parts of you that have been attached there because, yeah, you could say it's maybe an earth program so that you're aligned with earth's ebbs and flows of cycles and Lunar energy and solar energy, seasonal energy. What about if you get passed over in favor of men because, you know, some people are just less trouble. I mean, after all, you're in a mood once a month and people are supposed to understand, except they stop losing, you know, they stop having tolerance and they're, they lose it. They just lose, you know, they're saying this isn't, you know, worth the trouble. Do you get passed over by people? Are you one of those women that really has it tough and you would love to do something about it and you don't want to be on medications or hormones long term? Are you one of those women that would love to jumpstart your own, own proper hormonal cycle? Are you one of those women that wonders, you know, after about 40 years of this, what's in store for you in terms of what kind of shape is your body going to be in? You know, not just shape like, are you going to gain weight? Not that, you know, can be that. But what other kind of shape will you be in? What kind of mental shape are you in? So you could look at some of your grandmothers, your great grandmothers, your aunts, and you could say, yeah, they had a rough life. Yeah, they worked on the farm. Yeah, they were hard laborers. Yeah, they had it tough. They did not have modern conveniences. And yes, a lot of them did develop other issues as the result of that. This can be different. You have control over your twin flame ascension, particularly for menstrual purposes. Okay. Let's, there's so many other parts of the topics, you know, mood swings and your mental health. How many women feel bipolar and yet there is real underlying core issue because you have you have someone that you're connected to. What do you do when you feel like you need to go out and just find sex? Where is that really coming from? Or you wonder, you know, maybe I should be with someone or be in a relationship. I don't really want to be promiscuous, but my God, I just, I kind of feel like I need that. I need, you know, running energy through me. But yeah, is it the healthiest? A lot of times it's not healthy because it will not lead to a healthy relationship. And if you give in to that, your other half will too. So I put it in the context of you as a twin flame because frankly, you are a twin flame. Hey, Patricia, is everyone on the planet a twin flame? Yes, I am I am certain that everyone once who was invited here, you have another half of you and you have an etheric body connection to that person. Whether or not you actually met, whether or not you can actually identify them, whether or not you're having super high level of experiences. If you are having ascension symptoms, then yes. 
that's going to happen because how it balances is with your other half's energy. How it alleviates is with an upgrade through the etheric body and the integration of your brand new twin flame body. So yes, 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 yes. I have a lot of answers. And again, I uh, would love to say this that I have answers that the medical community does not have. And I'm not here to bash the medical community. Not whatsoever. I have a lot of respect. And in fact, I was a biology and pre-med major when I was at university. So there is a, a lot of perspective that I have in addition to my own cycles and getting this to be an actual modality that I can teach people and help people with it. Thank you so much, and please look at the links below to join our class, and I hope to see you there. Bye now.